Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope your day is going great. Today I'm going to be reviewing Eucerin Sun Oil Control Gel Cream in SPF 50 Plus. So this is not a first impression video. I have been using this sunscreen for about a week right now. I want to try it on camera so you guys can see how well it works on my combination to oily skin. So this is what the packaging looks like after it's out of the pack. It does come with a pump okay I'm gonna do hand swatch right now so you guys can see what it looks like um, when blended on the back of my palm so this sunscreen has a um, yellow tint to it um, it's more like the La Roche Posay um, Antilles sunscreen line so I took a pea size amount I'm just going to blend this in This doesn't leave a white cast, just so you know. I don't know what the camera is picking or how it looks. It kind of looks like it has a white cast from here, but I just feel like it's the light, I guess. Does it look like it has white cast? <laughs> okay. So I'm done blending, and this is what it looks like. It does give me a tad bit of, um, you know when you apply moisturizer to your skin, if that makes sense. On this side, I have no sunscreen. Here, I applied sunscreen and here, no sunscreen. What do you guys think? Is there a difference? Let me know in the comments section. So this sunscreen is thick in consistency. It is lightweight and it blends into the skin nicely. Um, it does have fragrance, just so you know. At first, it smells like alcohol, but when you're done blending in, it does have this sunscreen smell that is not overpowering at all. When you um, apply it to your face or to the back of your hand, it gives you this wet look, but after some minutes, it does turn matte. Okay, N not matte as in it's going to be a dry matte, but it's matte like you just know that you have no oils on your face okay so now let me apply this on my face first i'm going to just i'm just going to take my hair all the way back get my band and yeah i have my measuring spoon here if you would like to buy this I'm going to leave links in the description box, but if you don't want to order this online, just check any baking shop or where they sell um, kitchen utensils and you'll be able to find this type of spoon. I'm going to dispense the sunscreen in my spoon. Like I said, this is thick in consistency. Um, the time right now is 1.09 p.m. So I know that um, it's recommended that you use two finger methods or three finger method or use one of our four teaspoon for your face and your neck. I'm actually going to just be applying this on my face and my ears and if my hand um, goes to my neck area, I will do that as well. But I will go back again. <laughs> with one more spoon for my neck area if that makes sense i'm going out briefly i'm going to be in the sun just so you know so your girl has to be entirely covered up okay i also did not um dab my face with a paper towel mainly because this is said to be all controlling and um matte in a way so I don't want to like wipe off my skincare. Now it looks like um <laughs> it has a cast, right? But it doesn't. It doesn't have a cast. I'm just going to be blending it like so. Okay, 
guys can see how well it's going in. I want to get a mirror so I don't miss any spots, especially if I have it on my hair or whatever. See? I do have it on my brows and it's just there. So I need to like blend it in. Then on my nose ring side, you can see the sunscreen as well. Okay, so I think I'm done blending. So this is what my face looks like after blending. Let me let this sit in for 20 minutes and I'll be back to, you know, show you guys my face and talk more about the sunscreen. Okay guys, so it's 20 minutes. I've had this sunscreen on for 20 good minutes. Let me take my hair back. So this is what my face looks like. There's no shine on my face. I'm sweating a bit. My mustache area, you can see the sweat. It's just a tad bit, not a lot. It has this silicone feel on the skin. Not so much, but just really light silicone feel. So this retails for 19 euros for 50 ml. I can't remember how much it is in the UK. I think it's um, 17 pounds. Um, but Lynx purchased this if I find it cheaper in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Not all my links are athlete links. I'll let you guys know which ones are athlete links with some symbols. I think I want to start doing that. So let me describe this sunscreen for you guys. I'm on their website now. So this sunscreen is said to be a daily sunscreen with high UV protection for the face, especially for those who have oily and acne prone skin. It claims to be lightweight, non-greasy, does not stick to the skin, it absorbs into the skin. It is non-comedogenic, stable as a base under makeup and it is unscented. I agree that it is lightweight, it is non-greasy, it doesn't stick, it absorbs into the skin quickly. I don't know how suitable it is under makeup, but I'm going to be trying this out tomorrow as base under my makeup and um, I'll insert a clip or I'm just going to let you guys know in the description box how it looks or what I think about it as a makeup base. It being unscented, I do not agree with it, like I said. When you dispense it and you try to blend it on your face, you're going to get this um, alcohol scent that does fade off. Then you now get the regular sunscreen smell faintly. Um, yeah. So what type of sunscreen is this? This is a chemical sunscreen, okay? It is a chemical sunscreen and the sunscreen filters are Avobenzone, Tinosub S, UV Null, T150, UV Null A+. So who do I recommend this sunscreen for? Like the brand stated, this is for people who have oily to acne prone skin. I feel like if you have combination skin, you can use this sunscreen. My skin is combination and um, I really do like how this feels. And I know that under the sun, it will be nice for me because I do get oily around my T-zone. Um, so combination, oily skin, acne prone skin that isn't dry can definitely use this sunscreen on the other hand if you have dry skin either dry skin normal skin or dry acne prone skin i think you should just you know let this one go but i know that there are some people who have normal skin that will still use this sunscreen and get away with it but if you have dry skin or dry acne prone skin i think you should skip this one i just generally think that people who have dry skin or dry acne prone skin should go with something more moisturizing and also if you are sensitive to um, fragrance or you're sensitive to alcohol stay away from this one i don't have a problem with chemical sunscreens i don't have a problem with the fact that it has alcohol i'm fine the major thing is that it doesn't leave me looking casket ready so i appreciate that so i'll be heading out now and um, I'm going to show you guys what my face looks like when it's complete two hours before I reapply. Hey guys, so I'm back briefly, like I have to go soon. The time right now is 3.49 p.m. Um, I've had this sunscreen for almost three hours. I've been busy, so I haven't had time to like reapply or whatever. I just thought to come here real quick because I'm going to reapply right now. But in the, I mean, I'm going to be reapplying after 
this video um so my face looks good i don't really see shine at all like my t-zones ought to be like shiny but this is this is nice so it's really really all controlling i must say i also wanted to mention that today this kind of stung my eyes i don't know if it's because i kind of like you know did this itched my eyes and maybe a tad bit entered and it stung my eyes the other days i've used it it didn't happen a little burning sensation i don't know if i should say burning it's just kind of, it feels minty if yeah i would say minty why is it my lip gloss now <laughs> but yeah you know when something enters your eyes yeah it, it did feel that way today so i just thought to mention that um thank you guys so much for watching it all the way to this end i hope you guys found my video helpful if you did find it helpful please give this video a thumbs up like it share it subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching